Hi, Mark from Professional Media with a C4D tutorial today. Going to be a quick one this, I promise. None of my usual ramblings. So I was surfing the forums today and somebody was asking how they could create something like this in C4D. This being, for those of you who don't know England or anything like that, is a thatched roof made of reeds, I believe they make it. Um, I suggested they use the hair engine in C4D to create that, which they accepted, but they also started talking about displacement maps, textures, nerves, all that other guff, which I think is making it far too complicated. So I had a bash and came up with this using the hair engine, which I think looks pretty good. And uh, this is what I want to share with you today. So let's get cracking, enough of my ramblings. First thing you want is a plane and rotate that round to about 35 degrees or however steep you want your roof. With your plane selected, come up to the hair engine, hair engine even and click add hair. Don't press play. Uh, in fact, if you turn off the dynamics, if you press play, nothing happens. So better to be safe than sorry, disable your dynamics. Come up to guides, uh, reduce the length to about, uh, let's go for 30, and in your hairs tab, increase that to 50,000, now obviously this will differ to how big your plane is, but this is just for standard plane settings, so you can adjust it as you need to. Reduce the segments to eight, and as whenever you use the hair engine, it creates a standard material, which is basically what we're going to use. But we're going to make a few adjustments. Leave the color as is, and the specular. Uh, in fact, no, I'll reduce the specular down to. What was it set at? sixty? If we bring this down to. Mm, 35, 30, go for 30. Thickness, this is the key. Now the standard settings are to have a thick, thicker root than tip for hair, but I want it the same thickness all the way through. And the only other one you want to activate is to scale and leave that at its standard settings. Okay, next thing, which is the real key, is we need these hairs lying down. On the um, on the plane, but not all the way down. We want them just above. So to do this, go to your hair menu, tools, and brush. And with your cursor running along the tips of the hair, hold the left mouse button down, and just in one sweep, just drag it down so they're all lying down along the line of the roof. That, that, that may be a bit too much up here. In fact, I think it is. Just... Oops. Bring the cursor up slightly higher That's, so it has less of an effect. That's better. There we go. So they're all lying relatively, not flat, but just bent over the roof slightly. We'll see what that looks like. Come into your perspective view and you can see all your hairs because you've done that in your side view. All your hairs are now uh, lying the same. Okay, before we render this out, we need some lights. Uh, we'll have a light at the moment with area shadows. Reduce your light to 40% and give it a slight tinge of colour because you never get perfect white. And what I did was to stick the light into an array and then just lifted the array up above the roof slightly. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Um, I'll start to render this out. This will take a little while to do, so I'll pause the video and I'll come back when it's done. And you can see, look at that, 20 seconds. That's all it took. Why fanning around with 
textures and displacement maps when you can create this. Um, I think it works really well. You compare it to the the image that they are after. Yes, I mean these reads are more compact, and all you would do is simply add more more hairs into your into your where I put fifty thousand. I don't know. Put a hundred thousand, double the packing. To, but I think this gives it more interest, more detail. Of course, there's no effect here. It is these each of the hairs is creating its own shadow and gives it what I think a far better effect. And uh, there you go. Simple as that. I'll include the project file for this one, which is a HD high resolution image together with a tutorial so you can download it and have a go and see what you think. Six minute tutorial, probably my quickest yet. Be back soon with another one. Thanks for watching. See ya.